As you walk the streets of Europe, you are reminded of the rich history that we now read about only in books. Kingdoms, wars, and architecture come to life here. In many of these countries, you will notice a secular, modern society that has taken place where religion once stood. This quarter, we will travel to some of these countries to show the challenges and needs within the church. We will meet with people living in these areas and hear their stories. This region of the world was formerly known as the Euro-Africa Division, but is now being called the Inter-European Division. Welcome to the Inter-European Division. This region of the world is made up of about 20 countries. Today we will take a closer look at Portugal, the Czech Republic, and Bulgaria. Let's begin in the country of Portugal. Portugal is situated on the western tip of Europe. It is a coastal country with beautiful castles, scenic landscapes, and bustling city centers. Portugal was once a major world power. Explorers traveled to and established colonies in South America, Asia, Africa, and India. The first Adventist pastor to Portugal was S.N. Haskell in 1889. He was sent out by the church on a world tour to lay plans for future mission work. Today there are more than 9,000 church members in Portugal and a population of 10 million. The church here is doing many things to share the Adventist message with the people. One form of outreach is their media studio, Digital Way. This studio produces programs designed to share God's love. They specialize in video production. The programs they produce are widely available online and have a strong impact on their audience. Even with these great efforts to bring people to know Jesus, there are still great challenges here. Antonio Rodriguez is the president of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Portugal and knows these challenges well. But he also recognizes they need to do more to touch the lives of people. We need to be close to people and mingle with them in these hard times. I believe in empathy, in working side by side. Otherwise, it will be really difficult. It's hard reaching the Portuguese people. The approach Pastor Rodriguez shares is not new. It is a reflection of what Jesus did while he was on the earth. But with only one Adventist for every 1,000 people, sharing the Adventist message is still a challenge. Please pray for the people in Portugal. Let's travel inland to the Czech Republic. Located in the center of Europe, the Czech Republic is a landlocked country. The capital city, Prague, is well known around the world. Spread throughout the city are recognizable landmarks such as the Town Hall or Charles Bridge. This 14th century stone bridge links the two sides of Prague. There are 75 statues on the Charles Bridge. The detailed architecture draws in millions of tourists here each year. Everywhere you look, there is evidence of a strong Christian influence. Even with such a strong Christian background, the Adventist Church faces challenges in a modern society. Recent studies have shown the Czech Republic to be one of the most secularized countries in the world. Today, there are nearly 10,000 Seventh-day Adventists in the Czech Republic out of a population of 10.5 million. Mikolas Pavlik is president of the church's Czechoslovakian Union Conference. He describes the challenges and how they are working through them. One of the challenges for the church is to create a strategy of evangelistic work in the cities, which will focus on the context in which people live, where their needs are, where their injuries are, and where they need help. They want to reach people at the most basic level, like Jesus did. They want them to know that Jesus cares about them and that they have a church family that cares about them too. Adventist groups throughout the Czech Republic are telling their neighbors about Jesus. In larger cities like Prague, Brno, and Olomot, churches are encouraging youth to be involved in ministry. Adventist youth are involved in a project called Inri Road. This project focuses on reaching students in the universities. Students meet to participate in fun social activities. 
Christ is always at the center of these meetings. If you were to visit, you would feel a warm welcome from the group. But there are thousands of people who are not interested in stepping foot into a church-related event. Please pray for these people and for the church in the Czech Republic. Travel southeast to the country of Bulgaria and you'll find a rich culture. Bulgaria is located on the northeast part of the Balkan Peninsula, making it a crossroads between Europe, Africa, and Asia. Throughout Bulgaria, the church has been making steady efforts to reach the Gypsy or Roma people. Bulgaria has many Roma communities. Almost 400,000 Roma live here, and the numbers continue to climb. Milan Georgiev is the secretary of the Bulgarian Union. He shares the goal of the church in Bulgaria. To grow and to spread the gospel uh, among um, many of um, this ethnic uh, group, uh, Roma people. We are seeing that uh, Roma people are um, experiencing, uh, we can say, a revival and the churches are working um, more intensively and many people attend them. These Roma communities are open to God's leading. They are hungry to learn the message and dedicate themselves to God. In the past few years, the Adventist Gypsy churches have seen a significant growth and expect to see more. Please pray for the work being done in Bulgaria. Please pray that God can use the workers here to teach the Gypsy communities about His message. Throughout the inter-European region of the world, people are hungry to know God. Millions are craving something more than this world has to offer. Please continue to pray for the people in Portugal, Czech Republic, and Bulgaria as they bring people to meet Jesus. And thank you for your support of Mission.